Yes, hello everybody, this is Ray from Ray's United and I'm back again. Let me take the gum out. So, there's a lot of things that you guys uh, need to understand. My fellow pioneers, there's a lot going on. Um, I need to break the news down to you. So, or even if it's not news, certain facts that all of us might overlook. You get what I'm saying? So I try to bring it to the fore. Everybody understands it. And then... If you've got any questions, you ask it in the comment section or during my live shows because it's all good, isn't it? Um, that's why I bring these to you. So, um, yeah, anyone that says Ray is destroying the pie community, that's a lie. You know, I get a phone call and I get a phone call. You know, you're jealous? Be jealous. It's normal, isn't it? You can't be jealous. <laughs> but life goes on, right? Life goes on. You need to always, um, uh, when somebody has success, whether you believe it or not, praise it. Because I'm on social media, not social media as such, because I hate social media, but I'm on YouTube. And uh, anything concerning Pi, I'll try and give it to you. If it's personal, I won't. Simple as that, because that's my business and that's my cup of tea. So, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Um, actually, I've spoken about that in other videos and other live shows, so I'm not talking about it. But this is very important. This one is to do with the main net me metrics, the main net metrics. I'm going to talk about it in the next segment. But before everything, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Smash the subscriber button. That's all you have to do. Share the content if you want to. If you don't want to, don't share it. But if you share it, it helps. And if you're somebody that loves to help, then please share it. That's all I'm asking you to do. All right? Okay. I will be right back. Right, I'm back. This is Ray from Race United. Guys, smash the like button. Anyway, today I want to talk about the uh, mainnet metrics. These are things that we may take for granted because we're always looking at things that everybody's looking at, which is uh, mainnet migration and yada, yada, yada. But in this case, um, this is also part of it. So you'll have to understand how these things work. Do you understand? So um, this in particular, I, I, I just pulled it out of uh, out of the blue, really. I thought, I should let you guys know. It will probably be a very short video, probably one of my shortest. I hope so. Um, so I'll go straight to the point. Now, um, a lot of people have been asking me to make videos about um, the total supply, the total circulating supply, and and so on and so forth. Um, that we will not know until uh, mainnet, uh, while mainnet migration is in progress, they might have uh, done the estimation uh, to the closest possible digit and um, know that. They, that or this is the amount of um, circulation that the total amount of circulation that is going to be supplied so um, that is what the core team is looking at that's what the system is looking at but then again we also need to take into consideration the the locked up pie you get ones or pies i don't know how to put it but the locked up pies if you want to look at that as well then we would have eventually the mainnet metrics so obviously the the total the overall total that has been mined minus the locked up pie gives you the total circulating supply you get what i'm saying now let me say it again the total the total mine pie right so all the mine pies that has that have happened over the period minus the total locked up pie equals the total circulating supply. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's exactly how the simple arithmetic, arithmetic works. You don't have to do any big mathematics, nothing. It's just simple arithmetic with bigger numbers, billions of uh, uh, numbers. That's it. So, uh, oh, sorry, billions of uh, pi. That's what it is. So, so far, we don't know how much has been locked up. I suppose in the billions, uh, we know definitely the total su circulating supply will be in the billions for sure. And so, you know, we would know everything will be determined by the amount of pie that we've mined so far, so far. Now, there's another thing that's been happening behind the scenes. Now, all these things you can check when you go to your pie blockchain explorer or pie block explorer, whatever the name is. 
If you go there, you'll find it. So do your own research as well after you've watched this video. We all have the app. Sorry, the app. We all have uh, accounts. If we're watching this and we're pioneers, we all have Pi accounts. So it means we have everything. So <clears throat> we have everything at our disposal. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think we have issues when it comes to, you know, um, getting information with respect to Pi, basically. It's when it gets into the nitty gritty, that's what people would want to seek information elsewhere. So therefore you come here and I give you things you don't know. In the next segment, I'm going to tell you things you may not know. You may know or you may not know. I'll be right back. Yes, I'm back. This is Ray from Race United. Smash the like button, uh, subscribe button and so on and so forth. Now, let me tell you something. So um, as I was doing my little studies, I, I discovered something. Um, people need to know that when you have a blockchain, yeah, all the transactions you find over there. That's one thing I like about uh, cryptocurrency because it's more, um, I would say, open but not that open, if you get what I'm trying to say. So you would think that, oh, you're seeing transactions, so it is open. You don't know who the money, uh, sorry, the, 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 the Pi token has gone to. All you're seeing is where it came from and where it's gone or where it's going to. So the public keys are what you're seeing and the amount that was transferred. But it's interesting to see that uh, as, as at the time I'm doing this, the core team, has they've done so much transactions, <clears throat> sorry, so, so many transactions into people's Pi wallets. So as I'm looking here, I go to menu, of course, uh, I'm on the, remember where I'm at, I'm on the Pi Block Explorer, Blockchain Explorer, and then menu, under mainnet, I click on transactions. So when I click on transactions, I see a lot of um, hexadecimal digits, right? Uh, the hexadecimal digits represent the, uh, uh, the what's the name? The, uh, uh, what am I going to talk about? Uh, <laughs> Listen, I seem to have forgotten. The hexadecimal uh, digits represent the uh, public key, of course. So you click on the public key, and what you're going to see underneath it is operations, 100 operations, right? Click on any of them, and then you're, you're going to see um, an operation where uh, some amount of pi, um, let me see, 6.712 million amount of pi was uh, transferred. That's what was done. So you click on operations under it, and then you're going to see a lot of the transactions that had happened during that time. And trust me, it's interesting to see exactly what has happened. So you click on the hours, and then you see the amounts that were transferred, and so on and so forth. It's really interesting to see what has been happening. So you see the amount of pi that has been transferred, and so on. I love seeing these things. It's really, really, really interesting. And um, when you click on the operations, you actually see the amount of pi and listen i love seeing these because it tells you that everything is in the open and nothing is hidden from anyone you get what i'm saying it's really really interesting and when you're looking at it <clears throat> you'll understand the transactions that have taken place behind the scenes um i love seeing all of these because it tells you that the core team are well obviously if you're, if you're dealing in crypto everything has to be in the open right when I, i'm talking about transactions and so on so you see what's happening on the blockchain listen this video is actually meant to tell you particularly about the um about what's happening and so on and so forth so you look at the payments you look at all of that it tells you i mean you would see payments that have happened that's at the time i'm doing this video three hours ago and uh they've transferred so much so much pie uh, uh all over and on the blockchain you see a lot of things happening um this is serious stuff, you know, it's serious stuff. And I would like to give advice to people that even though um, some of us have had our Pi transferred or migrated to our um, Pi wallet, we should also make it a point, you know, take it upon ourselves to still validate people. I may do a video about uh, validations being um, slowed or they've slowed it down. I may do a video or maybe as at this time I've already done it. If I haven't, I'll do it. Just to, um, you know, butter people up, light the fire on their asses and make them go and uh, get people KYC. Because the process is such that all of us are involved. So we need to ensure that everybody, each and every pioneer is KYC'd. Do you understand? And to do that, we the validators would have to do our jobs. Not because we've received our pie, so we're okay. Yes, yes, I'm happy, I'm okay, I've received my pie. So no, if people don't get KYC'd, 
it doesn't matter whether you've received your pie or not. It's not going to happen. You get what I'm saying? So let's KYC, let's get people KYC'd as validators. And when you're KYC'd, become a validator. So we increase the amount of people and the number of people um, validating people, hence getting them KYC'd. Therefore, we could go into the, uh, we could not speed up, but steady the, the, the process during this enclosed network. I'll talk about a lot of things. I'll talk about the Pi Utility apps. I'll talk about enclosed network in so many of my videos. So don't worry about it. Information is here and I'll give it to you. The name is Ray. The channel is Ray's United. And the word is peace. Love you all.